Hey, the sun rises over Buckbridge on the 5th of April, May, uh, which is also the 5th of spring around these northern parts. Still pretty cold here. In fact, it's so cold that I'm a little bit worried about the temperature in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit more of a fire. There we go. Uh, just to keep it, you know, warm until we get more into like the real growing season. Uh, this will have rice planted in it eventually. So let's, um, I got to check the work. I'm bouncing back and forth in two series and I forget what's going on in each of the series. Uh, we do have a grower over here. Yeah. A uh, Yugi who will mine before he grows. And uh, Jason, Jason Voorhees will be our first priority uh, of the, the growers, which is good. But we are still recovering. We're recovering from the death of Trumbull here. Um, and uh, major break risk in Daniel. Daniel was Trumbull's husband. So that's very, very understandable. And, uh, you know, so so fair enough. That's that is how that that is going to go. Um, you know, hopefully... Well, we all feel your loss. We all feel your loss, Daniel. But our priorities, right now, our priorities are defenses. Getting this wall up. Uh, wait, uh, who did I say was doing the constructing again? That is going to be mostly Martin. Okay, he's working on this. This is going to be... A, a research room. We're going to move the research from over there to over here. And yeah, I think that's fine. It's a little bit, when I put that in there, I wasn't thinking about pathing very well, but I guess we could just make a little walkway out to here and that would, that would work pretty nicely. So how are we doing on, we've got some components, not a ridiculous number of components. So, okay. Um, Yugi is on a food binge. Yugi is also uh, unhappy because Trumbull was his mother. So both of them, it's going to be a quadrum in 11 days total. It's like a two quadrum debuff. So they're going to be upset about that for quite a while. Anyway, I do want to get some more components. And I think deconstructing uh, these things right now is a, a good opportunity for that. Uh, Daniel... I mean, Daniel, you should be getting as much joy as possible. Also, things are really, really dirty around here. They really, really are. Uh, so we could go ahead and we could go ahead and uh, change up some cleaning. So, like, I guess every. Uh, what if we put everybody on a one right now? I, so everyone will just power through that cleaning right away. I do want, yeah, I do want us to be sensible. So like, I don't want to be, you know, around the walls. I'm gonna also turn off the expand home area bit for this. Um, but this is not sensible cleaning area. I'm gonna go ahead and, and just tidy this up a bit and then I'll get back to you. All right, I've uh, I've done done some of it now. Um, so so the home area controls both cleaning and repairing, and uh, that's a little bit annoying actually because there are areas that I want people to repair stuff, but I don't really care if they get cleaned. So if any of you knows of like a mod or anything that that you know uh, switches those, makes those kind of work separately from each other. I'd love to hear about it. I think that'd be a really handy thing uh, to have. But anyway, now, okay. Have I construct deconstructed? No, they're all, they're all, none of them are deconstructed yet. Once these things are deconstructed, I do want to make sure those components get hauled uh, as a matter of priority as well. Uh, just, you know, just because. Uh, tattered apparel in horse. It, I, it must be your power armor. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's it because everything else, everything else looked like it was, uh, above 50 and you got some dead men's clothes too, which isn't, isn't great. Uh, but okay. 
Now, the other thing that might be a smart idea, well, once we get a little more steel, what I think would be a good idea would be to buy some, um, I said buy, I meant make some uh, mortar shells and build a mortar around here somewhere for, you know, firing. Uh, where would be a good spot? I mean, maybe somewhere like down in this corner. I kind of am envisioning this will be a nicer area for entrance and, and this will be kind of the industrial zone down here. So that might be something I, I should be worrying about. I mean, really, it's the it's the walls I really want to get done. I think everyone is just... Uh, oh, no one's cleaning now. So I'm guessing everything is all clean. Uh, not totally. All right, you're just stopping to clean for a minute when you get a chance. Okay. Uh, on the construction front, we said that was... Who again? My memory, I swear. It's like I'm a sieve. It's Martin. And yeah, he is working on building. And Abel's helping building these walls, which is really good. Uh, our food supply is... Okay, well, we are getting this grown, which is pretty positive. It might be a good idea to have Abel go do some more hunting. Uh... Definitely the emus we can hunt, uh, the rabbits. Now, also, I got a comment saying, why am I not uh, going after the, the ibex or ibex or however you say that? I don't really know. Uh, they are 440 for move speed. I thought they were really fast, but maybe we're 456. I mean, I think, I think that's, that's standard, actually. Yeah, 458 around those kind of areas. Uh, Martin is not, but he's not going to be the one who's out hunting anyway. Yeah, 456. So I guess that would actually be fine. Uh, go back to the wildlife. So definitely, all right, one hair is dead, or at least downed. Um, ostrich, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and some turkeys. I think th that will make some, some good kind of additions to our food. And also what I think I'm going to do is, uh, now that we've researched it, I actually want to make pemmican first. Uh, because, I mean, it, it takes both meat and veg to, to make it. Uh, we'll drop it on the floor like we do uh, for everything else. But then, then we can we can be like getting up some pemmican that we can be moving in, and when we have both, both meat and potatoes, I mean meat and veg to, to kind of put into it, we can do that. And when we we don't, we won't. Ah, uh, for Pete's sake! All right, now is that? Oh, that's the other reason. Yeah, it is a home area. So I said I said uh, repairing and cleaning, also putting fires out. So everybody needs to uh, run, yeah, for the fire. Uh, Abel, you're far enough away that I think that's fine. Um, and yeah, get that put out and we'll get this built back up. I mean, that'll be, okay, that, that'll slow down the growing for a little bit. Since we're using a fire, we don't have to worry about the, this getting too cold. It's just a matter of, you know, cooling it down. And good, the wall is gotten, it's getting up to here. It's a big project, this wall. Also, have I burned through, is it limestone I'm using? It is limestone and I have tons of limestone left. So it's just a matter of, of getting it done. Uh, and also getting that steel done though. Uh, Maybe I also need my miner to go back to some mining. My miner would be Yugi when he's not, when he's not cooking. Oh, a cold snap. Uh, it should be okay. This should, this should, as long as this gets refilled, this should keep it, you know, it's 22, 23 degrees in here. So I think we'll be fine with that. We've all got our nice warm clothes on. I probably will, I don't know if this has changed, but back, um, Oh yeah, our roses will die, but that's that's understandable, and you know, it's a nice thing. We can we can live without the roses. That's fine. All right, everyone is almost everyone is sleeping except for Daniel, who likes to work late into the night. It seems so getting a little little joy. 
Uh, it's getting pretty cold in here, so we'll go ahead and put another fireplace in. And a Risling Chief of Covenant of Ro Ramagamar has sent us a message. Apparently bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy it, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. Uh, relations will improve and they'll give us a, th a thrumbo horn if we do it. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at it. Actually, let me, let me check something else first. Uh, okay, we are still hostile with the Ash Razors. And I would like to get on their good side. Uh, but I, I don't know how much, I don't think we have, we, we're very, very low on silver, uh, which is unfortunate. In fact, I think there might be some silver we could mine out somewhere around here. If I can find it. That's gold, which we could definitely mine and trade. Here, let's mine out that. I think that won't collapse because it'll hook up to there. And that... Get a bit more of the steel. I think that's a good good idea. That'll give Yugi something to do. Um, probably Martin. When he comes down, like uh, down in this way, I'm gonna have him uh, move, or I mean, put in that fire when he's close. Just get it done kind of quickly to warm things back up. There are some cargo. Oh, that reminds me there were... Oh, this I do... I, I'll get that hauled urgently. And yeah, down here there was this rice. Okay, it's too late. It's it's going to be deteriorated in any minute now. I think that happened like in the middle of something crazy going on. And I forgot all about it. All about it. But remembering now, remembering now. Maybe, I mean, like I'm way in advance. Maybe a ton of you like gave me comments. Don't forget about that. And then I totally forgot about that because... That's just how I am. Mr. Forgetful. That is me. But anyway, good. Uh, Martin. You're going to have a simple meal. All right. And once you've had that, actually, no, prioritize that campfire real quick. All right. But yeah, a little more herbal medicine. Papa, you, you hauling that? All right. Good, good, good. Like that getting done. Now I put this in here. I guess I want to wait till that gets smoothed. And then I want to put in. Well, I could put in right now a light, I think. This power is not getting used at all. So I think I can put a light there. And then when I put in the high tech research bench, yeah, there's plenty of room for it like that. Maybe I'll put in a little floor right there and then we can polish up that floor. It'll be a nice a nice little la laboratory or laboratory or whatever you want to call it. So we'll put that in. We can also put a, a simple research bench in so that if we lose power, we can still do some kinds of research. Oh, that's interesting. I'll unforbid it, but then I'll just wait until uh, somebody comes to get it. You know, on their own because it's it's not going to deteriorate, and it looks like okay, yeah, there's, yeah, there are those components that need to be hauled fairly urgently. These ones also. One item, I mean, one stack, I think, is what's getting hauled urgently there. And uh, before we all go to bed, okay, we're. Got a bunch of wild boar we can uh, hunt as well. Oh, and I guess they've found some ambrosia. No, that's like a new thing that I have not used at all. Oh, speaking of new things that I have not used at all, someone reminded me that um, I can manage, is it in the drug policy? No, it's not in the drug policy maybe it's just in the in the the health tab somewhere yeah defaults so colonists are default to the best in prison let's default them to no medicine yeah uh no medicine we'll default their hostile to no medicine 
animals will default them to no medicine as well. Now that won't change anybody who's currently on the map. And actually, I'll do this for, uh, uh, for right now, I'll just have them all set to herbal. So the idea is as long as we have a fair amount of herbal, we'll, we'll just kind of do herbal first and then, uh, and then just use the good stuff when it's like really needed uh, for us. But all right, um, this is up to 45. So I think now we can go ahead and put in the high tech research bench. Uh, bad temp yeah okay it's it's co cold in here uh, that's one thing is I guess maybe we'll have to have a lot of fires I should maybe make a growing zone for trees and I'll, it doesn't have to be outside because trees I mean they'll, they'll I guess I'll I don't know how trees work exactly but they're not gonna stop growing in the in the winter so it might make that uh, where's a good spot for this place for our little arboretum. Um, let's put it down here, I think. Kind of, yeah, kind of like that. And this will be, now I think, I kind of think I like pine the best. I have not done this uh, I've never done the math on any of this, which I probably should have, but 20 days to grow. Um, and it, it doesn't tell me what the yield is. All right. 20 days to grow with some beauty. What, what else do we got? Oaks, 30 days to grow. Same amount of beauty. Uh, poplars. 15 days to grow, a lot shorter lifespan, a l yield little useful wood. That's kind of what I thought. The teak, uh, it takes 32 and a half days to grow. And they all seem to have, let me just double take the birch. They all have the same beauty of two, which I mean, uh, the beauty is, is, oh, this only has beauty of one. Common rainforest weed was fast, but very little usable wood. Yeah, I think pine is the way to go. We'll plant some pines right there. Uh, that'll be... Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, you're absolutely kidding me. Horace and Papa Domo have broken up? Oh, that's not good. All right. Um. Well, for right now... Jeez. After after Trumbull's sacrifice to reunite you guys, you broke up? Oh my gosh. Do you hate each other now too? Um So you still like her? She does not like you. Oh, he divorced. So it was Horace who did the dumping too. Wow. That just, oh my gosh. All right. So Horace. Since you did the dumping, you get to come be over here. You're going to be exiled for a little bit. Sorry, man. It's just how it goes. Okay. And let's see. I guess maybe the reason that uh, Jason hasn't started planting down here is because it's it's cold. It's a cold snap. Oh, he's doing. He's cleaning. There's some cleaning need to be done right now. Okay. Another chunk of spacecraft. Uh, it's it's not close, but actually we could. We could do it now before the wall is in. I do kind of think maybe I should be putting a kind of back door here so we have another way out. I don't know if the new AI, how it does for attacking. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. Uh, if it's gonna attack doors more frequently than, than what we used to do. That's really unclear to me, but we'll, we'll, we'll see, I guess we'll see. 
But I just, I want those walls done. Uh, I guess Martin has been sleeping now. All right. It's, yeah, everyone's heading more or less to bed. Yugi's chilling. Daniel is, oh, Daniel's uh, taking on the cooking. I guess because Yugi is is still kind of in his, is getting over things phase. So we'll let him, oh yeah. So we let him sleep. I, I did say, and then I didn't do this, that I wanted to put in a mortar. I'm going to put the mortar down maybe around here. I think so. Yeah. And I'm going to put a roof maybe just kind of right over those and then I'll put a stockpile zone for shells okay that's done for we'll go into IEDs while waiting for this to get finished uh, anyway now what I was doing here is I was putting in a stockpile zone like that Critical just for mortar shells. And I mean, Papa, okay, Papa Domo also. What kind of. You, uh, you like melee and you. Uh, probably that's better for you than shooting, I guess. Maybe actually, we'll have hauled it by now. Uh, the normal steel spear. That might work for you. You're heading here anyway, so. Wait, that one's 84, that one's 65, so. Uh, all right, Papa. Go ahead and take that, just so you have something. And, okay, this is done. Now, oh, and Daniel's working there as well. So let's put put some power conduit like to there. That should be enough to get the standing lamp put in. And actually, the IEDs are nice, but I think it might be. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe mm, we don't have drug production yet. And maybe the hospital bed. The other thing I'm thinking of, so we want to at some point uh, get the, yeah, the multi-analyzer. Let's research that so we can get it built. And then, but then it's just a matter of climbing up the tree. And what's our, our steel supply is still pretty terrible. Uh, mining, not getting done. Not getting anywhere near done at all. Uh, because our miner, Yugi, has other things to deal with right now. Okay, I got it. Jason is going for a walk. Is there a reason you're not planting? Huh. You just... You're all filled with joy. I don't know. You know, eat now, I guess. But that was just weird that you just don't seem to be... Really focus the way I would have hoped on on the important things. And Martin, oh, you're building the mortar first. Okay, that's fine, I guess. It's a little moot because you have no shells. Uh, but yeah, but walls, walls I want done. This thing did get deconstructed and also the components got hauled. So that's swell. All right, and another, another nighttime. So... Randy's given us a little bit of a lull, which is nice. I'm thinking, well, let's see. One thing I, I'm, <sighs> building is not happening as fast as I want to. I want to get this wall done. It's a huge wall. I know it's going to take a long time. I want to get it done. I also want to get these walls replaced. So uh, JT replace walls mod, that is out for alpha 17 now and I've got it installed. So I can just replace all of these wood walls with stone at some point. But I just don't want to slow down my my builders working on that when they should be, you know, working on, you know, uh, this, our, our, our defenses, our security. So that's a little bit frustrating, and I'm not 100% sure uh, how best to think about that. 
but also I'm really puzzled by Jason, his, his unwillingness to do growing. Uh, it's his, it's his first job after cleaning and this kind of stuff. So I would expect, you know, a little bit more of it, but I mean, whatever, whatever. All right. And the morning swings back around. So uh, Jason, all right, Jason's doing the trees now, which is good. Uh, and these ones are not all the way grown. That's why nothing. In, that's why they're not getting cut down. That's fine. I don't mind having a bit of a mixture there. Uh, Jason's now okay. Now it's time for the rice to get cut down. That makes a lot of sense as well. Got a couple of minor break risks, which is understandable. Daniel and Abel. Abel, what I understand Daniel's problems. Your problems. Um, uh, just. Hey, without table, I guess. You, you packed a lunch when you went out hunting. So, understandable. Took back with the wildlife. You should be about done with the hunting. And I'm actually, I'm going to let the hunting go for a bit. Because we do have a lot of um, animals in here that need to get butchered and stuff still anyway. So, then when you're done with the hunting, you can... Uh, Go do a little bit of um, helping. You are doing it now, helping with the building, which is really, really good. And let's see. Yeah, yeah. So things are just, things are just going on. It's been a kind of slower, quieter day today, but we've got, uh, we've got progress made here. We've got... We've got, you know, time is, we're into to April, May, the 10th. We're heading towards summer. Uh, it's starting to warm up, so probably we don't need these fires very much longer. And yeah, things are going pretty well. But uh, that's all the time that I have for today. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.